Okay, so let me set the stage for you here. I've uh, moved indoors where I can manage uh, the light and the sound quality a little bit better. Um, I, I'm working in a situation where the light uh, of the white background surrounding the photograph there in the background is just 9 EV and the shadows on that tree in the photograph are 5 EV so this is not very bright light to begin with and I've got my darkest lens on the camera this uh, Schneider um, 90 millimeter super angulon and it's f8 which is uh, dark if anybody's tried focusing low light situations you know what I mean so that's what we'll be using you can see the focusing cloth is attached to the camera the shot cords working in opposition to each other to keep the cloth in place and it's this fold in the fabric on front and back that's acting as a flange of sort and it'll intercept light really nicely so it'll be really dark in there once we go inside and I'll do that in just a moment okay uh, before we go inside I wanted to show you a couple more things one is that I've got the black bag uh, storage sack and light skirt in place across the bottom of the camera to block the gap where the camera folds down there and we'll look at how effective that is once we get inside the darkened environment. The other thing that you'll want to pay attention to is how the light uh, is blocked around the edges of the camera. You, in fact in the dark you won't even be able to see um, the edges of the camera you'll just be able to see the ground glass illuminated. And the third thing is I want you to understand how the uh, sleeves provide access to this darkened environment while preserving the darkness. So all three things um, will happen once we go inside. Okay, uh, we're getting ready to go under the cloth here into the darkness. And if you're afraid of the dark, not a good place to be. Um, so bear with me. There's a lot of shifting around and, and movement. If you have motion sickness uh, problems, you probably don't want to see what this looks like. But we have entered the dark cloth and inside you can see the ground glass. Unfortunately this, this camera won't show you the whole glass at once. Um, it's a Fresnel and uh, it just shows only a small portion at a time. But you can see it's, it's nice and bright in this dark environment and there's no light leaking around the edges of the camera and just Hold your eyes here a moment. I'm pointed at the edge of the camera here. And I'm going to turn the light off. And you see, nice and dark. All around the edge of the camera. And that's that double seal that the new neck provides. Now I mentioned the sleeves. I'm going to bring my left hand in through the sleeve from the outside. And I'm going to put it in front of the ground glass. And you see my fingers up against the ground glass. And once again, you see it's still very dark in here, and yet my hand is inside, and I'm able to manipulate all the controls of the camera rise and fall, tilt and shift, etc. And just to prove how well the sleeve blocks light coming in, I'm going to follow my hand back out the sleeve. And you can see the outside of the room through that sleeve. But it's the folds in the fabric that work like the S-shaped of a darkroom door to block the light coming into this environment uh, that keeps it so nice and dark. And then the third thing I mentioned before we came under here was the black bag which is running beneath the camera to block that gap where the camera folds. I'm just going to pull the black bag off right now so you can see. Oh, actually I'll just pull it up and you can see underneath it that's that gap that the bag is blocking. And with the monorail that would be a much larger opening. A lot of light coming in and the bag does a wonderful job of, of blocking the light coming in. So very bright in here in spite of a dark lens and dark conditions outside in the room of 9 EV for the bright white and 5 for the shadows of the tree and uh, sleeves etc. Still uh, terrific working conditions in underneath uh, this cloth. 
Uh, one more thing, I, I am going to show you what it looks like through the loop as I move around on the ground glass as best I can. You know, holding the camera lens up to my own loop is, uh, again, not the best uh, at depicting this, but you get an idea. It's, it's really terrific. Um, very easy to see what's going on.